we are given potential as function of x y and z and we need to find the electric field and the shape of the equipotential surfaces so we'll do minus del dot minus del v and we'll get the electric field and we can find the magnitude from here now at equipotential surfaces potential is constant so in this equation if you put potential as constant we can rewrite the equation in this form now in first case if a and b both are greater than 0 so in that case this is the equation of an ellipsoid and in second case if a is greater than 0 but b is less than 0 we will have three different cases based on potential is greater than 0 equal to 0 or less than 0 and in each of these cases we will have these kind of shapes so this is hyperbolite single sheet this is cone and this is hyperbolite double sheet so this is the maths part of it you just if you put the values so if these two are positive this is negative that is hyperbolite of single sheet if these two are negative this is positive that is this case if this right side is zero that is so suppose we don't take v down actually my bad it should be v by a v by a and v by b so yeah so if the if you take v there and if v is zero that is the equation of a cone so based on all these conditions we will have three different ones but if a and b are greater than zero then it's going to be an ellipsoid